everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Buick GMC Sports Update. The loss to the Panthers is much more, I think, of a loss than just one in the loss column. The Jaguars lose the momentum from the preseason, the optimism of the offseason, the acquisitions that were supposed to make them better, and they also lose the opportunity, I think, to kind of get off to a start that they would have liked. In the first five games, I thought it was realistic that they could go two and three. One of those wins perhaps coming in against the Panthers. But a loss to the Panthers now leaves them with a home game against Miami, which will be an uphill battle, and road games against both New England and Indianapolis, followed by that fifth game in Tampa. So instead of two and three, maybe they're looking at one and four. They certainly hope. The Jaguars have started the last two years at 0 and 8 and 0 and 6, and they don't want to do that once again as they are the longest shot in the field to uh, win the Super Bowl at 200 to 1. But also the over-under number in Las Vegas is 5.5 for a number of wins for the Jaguars. What happened? Well, you know, the game turns on three or four plays, and you can tell that in professional football when you just look at the rundown of what happened in the game. And the Jaguars dropped balls on critical situations, and as well as the defense played in the, uh, in, into the game, in the fourth quarter, the Panthers were able to convert three or four long third and longs and keep the ball for over eight minutes, and that pretty much sunk the chances for the Jaguars. Can they fix it? Yeah, but it very specific thing. Catch the football. Don't throw that ball on the flat and the interception that goes for six. Uh, can Make a stop on third down. Those are all things that you can clearly identify, but whether or not the Jaguars have the talent uh, and the scheme to go ahead and get that done is the, the still, I think, the question. If the offense is going to wait around for Julius Thomas to get healthy, they're going to lose any momentum that they had created in the preseason, that's for sure. And if the, the defense thinks that Sanderic Marks is going to be the only answer to stopping things up front and being able to go ahead and get off the field and third down in critical situations, then it's going to be a long season. The Jaguars certainly hope that the acquisitions – that they made in the offseason and the hope that they provided in the preseason bear fruit at some point. But this game against Carolina looked a lot like the games last year when the Jaguars came up with three, three victories. I can tell you, uh, Gus Bradley was as disappointed in his postgame press conference as I've seen in a while, and he admitted, look, I thought they'd play better. He said, I thought we'd play better. That's the one thing I will, I will admit. I thought that particularly the offense would show some more consistency but it did not. Can't wait around for everybody to get healthy because that's the rule in the NFL. Not everybody plays every game. But we'll see what happens against Miami this coming week at 4 o'clock. I'm Sam Travaris, and that's the Nimnik Buick GMC Sports Update.